In this video, we are going to see another question based on the concept of inverse of a matrix. Let's see what the question has to say and we'll be getting started with the solution. It says show that A satisfies this equation to find out x and y. That means it is given to me that A is being satisfied by this equation and I have to just find out the two variables x and y. Let's see how to do it. You know, the question requires me to find out a square. I have a y to waste time. Just simply find a square. a square will be a multiplied by a. So it is 3175 multiplied by 3175. Right? So it is first row, first column, first row, second column, second row, first column, second row, second column. So it is 3 3s are 9, 7 1s are 7, 9 plus 7 is 16. Next, first row, second column. 3 1s are 3, 5 1s are 5, 3 plus 5 is 8. Next, 7 3s are 21, 7 5s are 35. So let's just, for those who still cannot do it orally, just let's just make it 21 plus 35 is 56. Last but not the least, you have 7 5, 1 5. So 7 1s are 7, 5 5s are 25, 25 plus 7 is 32. This is what? This is your a square. But you needed to satisfy a square plus xi. So if it is xi, let's write it here first. xi is what? xi is x multiplied by i which is 1, 0, 0, 1. So that means x has to be inserted inside. So it becomes x1s are x, x0s are 0. x0s are 0, x1s are x. So it is something like this. Now when you have been doing a square, you found out when you have x, y, you found out. Next task is what? Next task is to find y, a. Let's find out y, a. y multiplied by a means y multiplied by the matrix a. What is the matrix a? 3, 1, 7, 5. So it is 3, 1, 7, 5. 3 multiplied by y is 3, y. Then y multiplied by 1 is y. Then y multiplied by 7 is 7y, y multiplied by 5 is 5, 5. When you have been doing all this, the only task is to put these values in the equation. Equation says a square. Where is your a square? It is 16, 8, 56, 32. Then what you have is plus xi. Where is xi? x, 0, 0, x. So it is plus x, 0, 0, x. Next what you have is, next you have is equal to ya, so it is equal to ya. Where is ya? ya is here. So first let's make this more specific and clear. It is 0 and here it is ya. So it is 3y, y, 7y, 5y. Now you know that here it is equal to sign. That means whatever is on left hand side is equal to that on right hand side. And here it is plus sign. So let's add things. 16 plus x. 16 plus x. Next is 8 plus 0, which is 8. Next is 56 plus 0, which is 56. Last but not the least, 32 plus x. And here what you have, it is a matrix. Here you have, again, 3y, y, 7y, 5y in the matrix form. You are supposed to find what in the question? Find x, y. Easily four values here, four values here, simply comparison, position by position. That means 16 plus x is equal to 3 y. 8 is equal to y. So simply 8 is equal to y. First value found out. x and y were needed, y found out. Next, 56 is equal to 7 y. 56 is equal to 7 y means what? Again, y value is found out, y we already know. Next, 32 plus x is equal to 5y. Just put the value, 32 plus x is equal to 5y. 5 8 is 40, right? 5 into y, y is 8. Now, simply x is equal to what? 40 minus 32. 40 minus 32 is what? It is 8. So, my answer to this question, which was asked in the year 1990 in the CBSC examination is x and y both have equal values, they are equal to 8.